okay, heat of combustion. So by definition, the heat of combustion of a substance is the heat energy evolve or release when one mole of the substance is completely burned in oxygen. Okay. Now, last times I think I told you that every times when we talk about uh, heat of reactions, uh, okay, you need to know that the heat of reactions, the unit is uh, uh, how many joule per mole, right? Okay. For example, let's say the heat of combustion is the two thousand and thirty kilojoule per mole. Eh? Okay, per mole, and you must know this per mole is per mole of what? Okay, per mole of what? And for heat of combustion, this is per mole of the uh, substance burned, the fuel. This per mole is per mole of the fuel eh? or the substance burned. So that is what you need to know about the definitions of heat of combustion. Eh? Here there are a few examples of uh, heat of combustion uh, for heat of combustion of carbon, hydrogen, methane, and ethanol. From here we can see that eh, for carbon is a uh, negative three nine three point five kilojoule, and then uh, hydrogens two zero uh, two eight six kilojoule, methanes three nine four, and ethanol one thousand three hundred seventy six kilojoule per mole. Okay, write the equations of the reactions. For example, uh, carbon, eh? carbon, and for all combustions, you need oxygen. Eh? All combustions need oxygen, so therefore the carbon react with oxygen, eh? and the product is carbon dioxide. Okay, so this is the equations for the combustions of carbon. Now, for hydrogen, methane, and ethanol, I would like you to write it by yourself. Uh, experimental methods for finding heat of combustions. So these equations show the combustions of a fuel. Uh, the fuel can be methane or ethane or uh, ethanol. Okay, yeah. Later on, I will show I will show you the apparatus setup. Uh, okay, apparatus setups uh, for finding the approximate values of the combustions of a fuel. I will tell you why is approximate value. Why is this approximate value? Okay. So the apparatus setup is like that. Okay. First of all. Uh, okay, this is a fill. Eh? This is a fill here. And then we have a lamp. And then so we have water. And then this water is in a metal uh, calorie meter. Okay, it's a metal container. Okay, metal container. And usually we use copper. Uh, the reason that we use copper is because copper is a good conductor. Okay, a good heat conductor. And it can conduct the heat quickly. Okay, first. And then inside this uh, container, that is water. Okay. So when, when we light up this lamp, okay, so this lamp will burn the fuel. This, uh, the metal calorie meter and the water will absorb the thermal energy and the temperature will increase. So by calculating how much fuel uh, has burned, okay, we, we measure the mass, eh? okay, we use the balance to measure the mass, then we will know how much fuel has been burned. And then uh, from the temperatures of the water, then we will know how much heat is absorbed. Okay, we can use the formula key with MC theta right, to calculate the amount of uh, heat energy absorbed. And uh, we can also include the energy absorbed by the calorie meter. Okay, uh, after we know how much heat absorbed and how much fuel burned, then we can find the heat of combustion. Okay, heat of combustion is equal to uh, the thermal energy change uh, per mole eh, per mole of the fuel. Burned. And uh, there are a few more things that you need to know first, okay? Just now I say this is just uh, by using this uh, apparatus setup, what you get is just the approximations to the actual values of the heat of combustion. Why? Because when you heat, when you light up this lamp, okay, not all the heat absorbed by the calorie meter because part of the heat may go to the surrounding, okay? Because uh, heat can be conducted through radiations. Uh, so it will radiate, okay, and part of the heat will be released to the surrounding and not absorbed by the water, okay. If the heat is not absorbed by the water, uh, then what we calculate here is not accurate, okay. So then what we get is just approximations, eh? okay. But we try our best to get the uh, the most accurate result, okay. Uh, that's why we use metal calorie meter, eh? okay, metal calorie meter. That's because uh, it can absorb heat better. Uh, we have a thermometer, okay, this is to measure the temperature change, and then we have windshield. So this is uh, to prevent wind blow inside 
uh, this area, no wind blow. Because when there's wind blow, the more heat will lose to the surrounding. Eh? If there's wind blow, then the, the heat produced produced by the lamp, okay, will be blow to other place. Then they can, this can uh, uh, increase the heat loss, okay. So to reduce the heat loss, then we use wind shield. Uh, this is a wind shield. So this is the apparatus setup, and you need to know this apparatus setup because sometimes questions are okay they ask you to draw this apparatus setup okay or they draw the apparatus setup and then they will ask you what's the functions what's the precaution step okay to get the most accurate answer so this is about the apparatus setup okay so we measure the mass of the field then we can find number of mole and then we measure the temperature change then we can find how much heat absorbed uh, heat absorbed divided by number of mole then you can get a heat of combustion Okay, example four, um, combustions of 1.71 gram heptane in excess oxygen. Excess oxygen means enough oxygen, sir. Will uh, release 75 kilojoules of heat. They want you to write the equations and uh, find the heat of combustions of hept uh, this heptane. Uh, actually, the answer is given here. Okay, first of all, let's see the equation. Uh. Heptane, C7. H16 and then uh, react with oxygen. Uh, all combustions need oxygen. So this produce uh, carbon dioxide and water. Seven carbons. Uh, we have seven carbons and 16 hydrogen. 16 hydrogen means 8 H2O. Uh, 8 H2O and then the uh, number of oxygens. Number of oxygens here we have uh, 7 times 2, 14. Uh, 14 and here we have 8 times 1, 8. So totally uh, 22, 22 oxygens. Eh? 22 oxygens means we need 11 O2. Eh? So this is the chemical equations. Now to find the heat of combustion, eh? the heat of combustion, delta H, is equal to the heat change divided by the number of mole. Okay, heat change divided by number of mole. The heat change is 75 kilojoule, uh, the heat release, 75 kilojoule. But then uh, how to find the number of mole? We use mass divided by the molar mass. Uh, mass divided by the molar mass. And the molar mass is equal to the relative, uh, relative molecular mass. Okay, relative molecular mass. Means uh, we need to find the relative molecular mass first. Uh. So uh, first we find the relative molecular mass. So the RMM of uh, heptane is equal to, now it has 7 carbon, uh, so 7 times 12 plus 16 times 1, uh, okay. So what's the relative molecular mass of heptane? 100, okay, 100, uh, okay. Uh, then we find the number of mole N equals to the mass, the mass is uh, 1.71 divided by 1. Hundreds, eh? okay. So this is equal to zero point zero one seven one mole. Eh? So uh, the delta H is going to heat change, heat change uh, seventy five thousand joule, and then divided by zero point zero one seven one mole. So uh, what's the answer? Four three eight five point nine six. Eh? Okay. Now this four three eight five point nine six is in kilojoule. Eh? Okay. 4385.96 kilojoule per mole. Okay, and we can round up this to 4386 uh, kilojoule per mole. Okay, so this answer. Okay, comparisons of combustion heat of different fuel. Okay, we compare alcohol. Eh? Okay, alcohol, we have methanol, ethanol, propanol, and butanol. Ethanol, one carbon, ethanol, two carbon, propanol, three carbon, and butanol, four carbons. And then this is the heat of combustion. Now, if we plot this into the graph, then you will get a straight line like this. It means uh, the heat of combustion is directly proportional to the number of carbon eh? because this straight line passes through the origin. Uh, if one, for example, just for example, okay, if one carbon, the heat of combustion 1000, then two carbon, the heat of combustion will be 2000, uh, 2, and three carbon, the heat of combustion will be 3000, okay, because they are directly proportional. Eh? 